How are you doing? This is Bomani, and I'm coming to your class, Ms. Burshaw's class, to do a writing workshop for the next couple of weeks. And I have a writing assignment I need you to complete before I come in there the first day, okay? I need you to write out in one to three complete sentences the answers to four questions. What is your name? Where are you from? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? And who is your favorite artist? Three, four. Look, yo, my name is Damien Patrick. I'm so fantastic. My friends think I'm so sarcastic and drastic. They call me Dam as in the water can. I'm so wet, I'm like liquid water. I wish I could at least have right, so this is what I need to do. Uh, when I count to three, I need everybody to say, ah, like that, all right? Let's try this. One, two, three. Thank you for using your hands. It looks like you talk with your hands and your voice. One, two, three. Now, we're going to say this with the same energy, all right? Okay, make a solution to the problem. But work from the top. Here we go. Ask the right question. Imagine how to solve them. Play out each and every move. Create a solution to the problem. See what works and then do it again. Ask the right question. Imagine how to solve them. To the problem, see what works and then improve. I give it up for yourselves. Give it up for yourselves. You actually have to make it. And so what are some of the things that go into actually making the product? Yes. Yes. Um, like, you have, when you're, it's like, you're trying to find, like, the pieces that you need to make the product. There we go. We start putting together the pieces that we need to create the product. Um, for me in this music video, after I had imagined it, now I had to go find the house. I had to find the cameras. I had to rent some lights. All right, that's the actual creating process. I saw some other hands. Anybody else wanted to uh, add something to it? So we're putting it together. We're creating. Yes. So what are we gonna say? See, it works at the end. Oh, so that's the very next step. That's the very next step. Ask the right questions, imagine how to solve them, plan out each and every move, create a solution to the problem, see what works, and then improve. Write down improve for me. All right, what is the improve thing about? Yes. Um, you have to see what you can make better. You can see what, what you can make better, yes. See back, look back, and then see stuff that you should take away or stuff that you should add. Very good point. You look back and you see stuff you should take away or you see things you can add, yes. Edit. That's but, but but the more words the better. Since we're writing a rhyme, especially, we need to find as many ways to say it as possible. So you edit. Someone give me an example of how they've edited something on previously. Yes. Okay, so it's a process you use when you're writing books. Essays and stuff like that. Can we write that down? Because I want to make sure we use that as an example. Yes. Uh, sometimes I use the computer and type it and then actually underline the stuff I have to edit in the Ah, so sometimes you use tools that help you edit, like spell check and grammar check and stuff like that. Yes. Um, whenever I'm trying to draw a really good picture. Uh-huh. And so you end up drawing the whole picture and then taking a step back from it, right? Mm -hmm, like erasing all the um, sketch lines and then ah. trying to get rid of some detail where um, I can make it better. Okay. It. Okay, yes. Um, what, I'm like, write a book, we almost had to take out like a whole page. You had to take out, why did you have to take out a whole page? Because we looked back and then we're improving it. Got you. So sometimes you delete. You know, when I'm writing poetry, when I'm writing rhymes, one of my poetry teacher told me to go at each word with a knife and ask it what it's doing there. And if it doesn't belong, cut it out. 
You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> it is, right? Because you're like, especially in poetry, it's supposed to be like an economy of words. You want to say as much as possible with as few words as, as possible. And one of my biggest problems, especially as an English major, is going back and looking at my rhymes and I have all these ands and thes and therefores and here tos and it's completely unnecessary. I chopped them all out, all right? Your mind will pop in the people's mouth. Some 
tips to improve.